We are back live from Las Vegas, and this is our anchor booth position for this evening. The crowd is sure ready for a contest. Right now, let's get started. Let's see if you pick the winner of the Best National Costume Award. Our congratulations go to Miss Columbia. She received a trophy and a cash prize. Her award, however, does not count in scoring for tonight's competition. Speaking of competition, our special commentator this evening is someone who really knows what it means to win this pageant. She gave up her crown just one year ago. Please help me welcome Miss Universe 1989, Angela Visser. Hi, Angela, lady in red. Good evening, everyone. Great to see you. We're going to have a great time up here. Yes, we do. I have to figure that you decided you liked it here because when you gave up your crown, you moved to Los Angeles. Yes, I'm still here, but I do go back and forth to Holland quite regularly to do television and see my family at the um, same time. That's important. Yeah. Now, I know you didn't start out to be an actress, but that's sort of what's happened. You've made a couple of films this year. Yes, I did. I just finished playing the female lead in Killer Tomatoes Go to Friends. A sequel! Yes. I love it. The world is safe. <laughs> okay. I just shot for two months in Paris and San Diego. It was wonderful. I bet you had a blast. Yes, yes now, you spent the last couple of weeks getting to know these girls. I'm going to really put you on the spot because you're a I pro. Know. You know this stuff. Take a chance. Give us a prediction for, you know, the top three or so. Lisa, it's so difficult, but I know I have to say something if I can get above this crowd here. Hey, right, they're ready for some action. I should say Miss Curacao, Miss USSR, Miss Ireland, and of course, out of sentimental reasons, coming from Holland, Miss Netherlands. Well, she's a lovely girl. We want to remind you, the contestants and the judges cannot hear what we're saying up here in the anchor booth. It will not influence the scoring. And right now, we'd like to show you who had the top scores in the preliminary competitions that have been going on for the past week. As we turn to the monitor, you can see the swimsuit category was led by Miss Jamaica, followed by Curacao in France. In interview competition, Miss Brazil out in front, followed by the USSR and Mexico. And evening gown was taken by Mexico, once again competing strongly, Chile and the USSR. Also a real strong contender tonight, but it is very, very close. It is. Nobody really has a big lead, but you know what, Lisa? A lot of things, things can happen, and a lot of times it happens that one girl suddenly starts to shine out there. Breaks away from yes. the pack. Well, it's really a confidence game. It should be an interesting evening. Dick is ready on stage to reveal the 10 semifinalists. Let's go to him. We've now arrived at the first turning point of the evening. You've met 73 of the world's most extraordinary young women. And our judges have narrowed that number to 10 semifinalists whom I'm about to reveal. Later this evening, we'll choose six finalists from those 10, and then we'll narrow it down to the final three, and finally, to the new Miss Universe. Now, during the Parade of Nations, you saw each candidate scores in the three preliminary competitions, swimsuits, interviews, and gowns, and I'll now pick up the results. Thank you, sir, very much. The computer has now added and averaged these for a composite score, which you'll see on your screen, and the 10 highest scores determine our semifinalists. All right, ladies, uh, you can take a deep breath now, and uh, I will announce the 10 names. This is in random order. There is no order here, okay? The 10 semifinalists. The first name is Miss Jamaica. Next is Miss France. Miss Yugoslavia. Miss Paraguay. Miss Curacao. We have five more names to announce. Miss USSR. Miss Venezuela. Three names remain. Miss Netherlands. Two names 
remain. One is Miss USA. The final name of semifinalists is Miss Mexico. the 10 semi-finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1991. were right up there. I'm really not surprised to see Miss Venezuela up there. They always send such strong and prepared candidates. And you know what? Nine times out of the ten years, they had people in the semi-finals. So that's not a shock. Some really? strong contenders tonight. It's important that you know the composite scores you saw have now been erased. Those ten semi-finalists begin tonight's competition anew, each on equal footing. Yes, and from now on, you at home will see everything that the judges see live in the swimsuit interview and evening gown competition. So you can choose your own fo favorite for Miss Universe. Okay, let's get on with it now. Swimsuit competition is coming up next. Now, I know it takes poise and self-confidence, but let's be honest, it takes a great body. Who are the real knockouts in this? Well, Lisa, look at Miss Jamaica. She, of course, was the first in preliminary, so she will do very well. An interesting story about Miss Mexico. She was mistaken for a boy when she was seven years old, going to church in jeans and a t-shirt. Well, I think she doesn't have a problem with that anymore. No, not a chance of that happening with any of these girls tonight. We hope you'll stay tuned with us because the swimsuit competition with ten beautiful girls is coming up next. <laughs> 